Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Native, the makers of deodorant that is aluminum-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. Most importantly, it works. My husband has been using Native for years now and it works. He smells great even after a run and it provides 72-hour odor protection. His favorite scent is charcoal and whenever I smell it, it reminds me of him. It smells great, clean, and fresh without smelling perfumey. And it goes on smoothly. It goes back like that. Native's plastic-free packaging is made with FSC certified paper, and Native is a proud partner with 1% for the Planet, donating 1% of the plastic-free sales to environmental nonprofits. And with each plastic-free purchase, you are saving 37 grams of single-use plastic from entering landfills. The plastic-free packaging also uses the same deodorant formula. And if you have sensitive skin like my husband, Native also has a sensitive skin line. This is aloe and green tea, which smells lovely. Again, fresh, clean. This one smells slightly floral without smelling overpowering or perfumey. The Sensitive line is baking soda free and vegan. There are lots of scents to choose from and Native has just launched their candy shop collection, which was inspired by your favorite candies, including gummy bears, sour belts, and cinnamon hearts. Three plastic-free deodorants normally go for $39, but if you use my code ME10, you can receive them for 26. That's more than 33% off. You can also use that code for 20% off body washes and lotions. Big thanks to Native for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so I can make better videos for all of you. So today we are going to be making Irish potato candy. Now, if you've never heard of this before, you are probably in the majority because this is a hyper regional candy. It comes from the Pennsylvania area and it's believed to have been created by Irish immigrants in the 1800s, early 1900s, and as the story goes, it was probably invented by crafty candy makers that needed a product to sell between Valentine's Day and Easter, St. Patrick's Day, naturally. So we're gonna be making Irish potato candy and it contains no potato, although it looks like a little potato that's covered with a little bit of dirt, which is actually cocoa powder and cinnamon. Isn't that funny? Little potatoes that contain no potato at all. I tasted the original forms. They were sent to me by some lovelies from the Pennsylvania area. If you missed that video from four years ago, I'll put a link to that down below. I'm going to be making a homemade version, but since it contains no potato at all, I thought I'd do another version for potato candy that actually contains potato. I also did an old fashioned potato candy in that previous video as well that contains peanut butter and chocolate all rolled up, a very old fashioned recipe, very popular in the South. So be sure to check those out. Oh, and if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. It's free and you can always change your mind. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. And as always, I will put links in the description box for the recipe inspirations for today's video. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to add some cream cheese and some butter and a little sploot. Thanks, vanilla. Tiniest splash of vanilla. Beep, 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 beep. We're just going to cream this until it's light and fluffy. And if your ingredients are at room temperature, this should be really easy. Alrighty, now we're going to add our powdered sugar. Two cups. My goodness. I would recommend a lower speed, but my mixer doesn't go any lower, so. And we're basically making a dough here. Swab the decks a little bit. Oh my gosh, just trying to be tidy. Whoa. Okay, first of all, this is not the appropriate cleaning towel. Yeah, yeah. The one you want is this one. Okay. And while you're at it, dust yourself off. Okay. I'm actually going to mix this by hand. Did you see the, how big my eyes got for a second there? Yeah, because I thought that was going to plummet. It didn't. <laughs> Yo, I'm done with you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. You don't have to wear gloves. I find it kind of strange seeing lots of people cook with gloves. I don't know why. It just makes food seem so 
alien. At any rate, we're going to do that because I don't want to get this all on my fingernails. Mm -hmm. And also, this is cream cheese and butter, and cream cheese and butter are oily, and it's kind of hard to get that stuff off your hands sometimes, you know? And it's winter, and my hands are dry. TMI. Okay. Look at that. It's actually quite nice in texture. Reminds me a little bit of fondant. This is unsweetened dry coconut, and I pulled this in my food processor to get it a little bit finer. Dump that in there. This candy is actually coconut and vanilla flavored. And now we're just going to shape these into potatoes. I'm going to shape them into like one tablespoon servings. It's a generous tablespoon. Here are my shaped little spud candies. Aren't they cute? To make them look even more potato-like, we're going to dust them in a little bit of dirt. Cinnamon and cocoa powder. How cute. Finish rolling them around in the remaining cocoa powder. This reminds me of when I made ice cream that looked like a baked potato. Missed that video? I'll put a link to that one down below. Look at that. That's so cute. Some candy manufacturers press pine nuts into the candies to make them look like the eyes of the potatoes, which I thought was really cute. Add some flavor too. Uh, it kind of looks like an eye, I guess, like a potato eye. Yeah, I buy that. And you got yourself a little candy potato. Oh, I love it. I forgot to mention there's nothing Irish about these candies at all. This is a total American invention. <laughs> this, this candy is not consumed in Ireland to my knowledge. And it is believed to be just a crafty way to make some money during the St. Patrick's Day holiday. All right, with that, let's give this a taste. So cute. Can I just tell? Uh, ready. Itadakimasu. Oh my goodness, so sweet. Having said that, it is a candy and I like it. The inside snowy white and initially I taste the sugar and then I taste a little tangy cream cheese, which is nice. The texture is creamy and soft and similar to a Mounds or an Almond Joy in flavor and texture. Not as sticky though. This is more soft and the coconut has a little bit more tooth. I imagine that might change as the coconut absorbs the moisture from the butter and the cream cheese. You get a little crunch of the pine nut, but I have to say I don't really taste it between the vanilla and the coconut flavor. The predominant flavor in this is definitely coconut. You can get some of that cinnamon from the outside as well. But fun little candy. Super easy to make. Whips up very, very fast. I think it would be a really fun activity actually to do for the kids because they can roll and shape and stick things in to the stuff and it doesn't have to be perfect and they look very potato-ish. Okay, now we're going to be making peppermint potato candy. Now it's believed, like many of these recipes, have origins of using leftover things, like leftover mashed potatoes. These mashed potatoes are plain mashed potatoes. I imagine you could substitute mashed potatoes that have milk, butter, cream in them already. We'll also need a paddle attachment. Otherwise, if you turn your mixer on, nothing will get mixed. This is room temperature butter. One quarter teaspoon of peppermint oil. This is edible peppermint oil. Can you see that? Now, if you can't find peppermint oil, you can use one teaspoon of peppermint extract. Peppermint oil, I have learned, I believe Joy the Baker taught me this, is much more concentrated and it will give you that lovely tingling sensation that you have when you eat say like a york peppermint patty you only need a tiny amount we are going to mix this until it's light and fluffy okay to that we are going to add powdered sugar this time seven and a half cups Alrighty, so i've mixed up my potato mixture and it smells great and minty and i've got a 13 by 11 pan that i've lined with parchment paper and now i'm going to spread this potato candy into the pan 
nice and evenly. Press it into a layer. I've got some chocolate wafers. I'm using these and I melted them in the microwave. Ooh, yep. Gorgeous. You can also use chocolate chips and the recipe suggests adding about a tablespoon of shortening if you do that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good already. Into the refrigerator to cool off before we taste it. See you in a little bit. All right, my lovelies, I am back with our cooled peppermint potato candy and it looks and smells great. I actually did not put this in the refrigerator. I just let it sit at room temperature and it firmed up beautifully. And the beautiful thing about parchment paper is that it should allow us to pull it right out. I'm going to cut this into one inch squares. And this was just one medium potato. It reminds me a bit of magic shell, the way it kind of crackles. Look, there's our candy. Hitarakimasu! Mmm. 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 That peppermint oil is so good. It gives you a really clean peppermint flavor while simultaneously giving you that cold sensation, that mentholated sensation inside your mouth. So good. That's the trick, peppermint oil. I've made homemade mint chip ice cream before and I've used peppermint extract and I found the result a bit disappointing and I didn't know why. I thought maybe I used too much peppermint extract but I think the trick is using a bit of peppermint oil. You get that really strong, minty, mentholated sensation and flavor and it doesn't have a strange aftertaste. I felt the extract had that. This does not clear bright, minty, delicious. The filling is very reminiscent of a York peppermint patty. This is slightly fluffier and while quite sweet, maybe a little less sweet than the York peppermint patty. And the dark chocolate is the perfect complement, in my opinion, to peppermint. So good. No potato flavor whatsoever, just clean, bright, fresh mintiness, sweetness, and dark chocolate. Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. Two ways to make potato candy. I made the Irish potato candy, which has no potato at all, and this peppermint potato candy, which was fantastic. Thanks so much for watching, and big thanks to Native for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check them out, please click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out my website for printable versions of this recipe. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, no, 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 no.